What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Should I Invest? And in today's video, we're going to talk about PayPal. As some of you guys have been asking about this stock. So we have our handy dandy market smith tool right here. And just to remind you guys, they do have IBD Digital free until March 12th. So go ahead and grab your copy. Link is in the description below. But we also have Yahoo Finance right here. And we have our handy dandy Excel sheet that helps us with our long-term research. All right. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so we're gonna pull up our Excel sheet and we're gonna start plugging things in as we always do, guys. First thing is first, we're gonna type in the ticker PayPal. These are gonna load up, perfect. So right off the bat, we can see the EPS on PayPal is green, which is great, but the PE is a little high, right? We're looking for PEs anywhere around 14, 13, uh, below at least 18, 19 is really what we're looking for, but this is at 35, so relatively higher. Now we gotta look at the return on equity. So where do we find that, guys? We've come back here on MarketSmith. You can see return on equity is 23. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So that's a good figure. We got a green number there. Now, next thing we got to look at is total debt to total asset, right? The debt to asset ratio. So what do we do? How do we do that? We're going to plug this into Yahoo Finance. Actually, we're going to find the data from Yahoo Finance. So total debt, all right? So total debt, we're going to go to balance sheet. We're going to come down to total liabilities right here 58 million four three three okay i'm gonna plug that in perfect and now we got total assets so let's scroll up total assets boom plug that in what do we got 1.35 great so assets covers the debt perfect now let's move on to the next category so next category is current debt versus current asset still on the same page we just have to find total current assets which is right here all right, so we're gonna come and plug that in, current assets, and then we're gonna look at current debt, all right? Total current liabilities, that's right here as well, okay? So once we plug that in, again, our current assets can pay our current debt. So in that regard, we're also doing okay, all right? Now let's look at operating income, all right? So to do that, we're gonna to go to income statement, and we're gonna see operating income is it a loss or a plus obviously that's a plus figure so we're going to put that in here operating income and then we're going to look at total revenue the total total revenue is 27.5 let's put that in perfect so this number is a little bit of a problem all right we can see that this figure is not really high enough i mean it's not really um essentially yeah high enough and our operating income is not matching up we're getting uh, a 15%, which is not ideal. We want this up close to, you know, 17, 18, 20, uh, 25. That's ideal. But this is at 15. It's not bad, but it's not going to give us the green that we're looking for um, on the tracker. So next thing is cash flow, guys. We're going to go to cash flow and see how the cash flow looks. So just taking a look at this, um, what can we see? We can see right here in December 31st, 2019, we had 3.8. Uh, 2020 we had 4.8 2021 5.4 5.1 .4, and it's looking like it's about 5.1 so in relative to the last four we have increased right with the exception of this one past quarter or year so I would say cash flow is increasing all right now let's take a look at owned by management so where do we find that of course we find that on market smith owned by management is right here you can see management is around one percent which falls into standards um, with most of these companies here. Okay, so let's keep going here. And now we got to look at the funds. Is it increasing or decreasing? Right, something to make note of here. I'm um, just very quickly looking at it. We can see that the funds are actually decreasing. So March 2021 was 4,000. June 2021, 4,200, 4,290. And then we start falling off in December. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And I want you guys to pay attention to when this started happening. So December 2021 is right here, okay? Or this is this is the quarter, I should say. December 2021 is right here, all right? You can see on December 2021, this is when it starts kind of falling off a cliff. This is where, you know, ownerships from funds are starting to decrease. So from 4235 to 3940, 37, 3728, and 3769, slowly picking back up again. but. December 2021 is when they started really dumping, and this was when they came out with, um, you know, their earnings report that really hurt them. So you can see nice drop ever since, 
let's start our base out a little bit here. So to answer the simple question, is funds increasing or decreasing? The simple answer to that is the funds is decreasing. All right, so we can see right here, it's given us a big fat fail, all right? And there's a few reasons for that right there, big fat fail. Um, there's a few reasons for that. One, obviously, funds are getting out, okay? So there's a reason why they're getting out, but they're slowly flatlining here on their exit, okay? The second part is, um, you know, the operating income to total revenue is not really working very well for them, okay? So let's say, let's say if this figure was 32, right oh sorry it's missing a zero all right so that doesn't work let's say if it was 20 i just want to see what it would look at okay so that's green all right this this solely based on this alone it would change this decision factor to a pass or to a pass rather than a fail okay so this is really it being a borderline decision right here kind of puts me in a position where i think okay you know what the funds have stopped selling. Um, the Excel sheet is just very close to giving us that pass. It's a very minimal fraction there. Um, so maybe after being priced at around you know $310 and now sitting at 75 bucks, maybe this is an area for a start of a position with room to possibly add at a psychological 50 level and maybe that 38, 39, all right? So, Obviously, dollar cost average is your best friend. I would like to see some earnings come out with better figures, um, and I would definitely like to see that cash, um, the cash flow to increase as well. All right, so there's your outlook on PayPal. If you guys did like this video, and if you guys do like this series, subscribe, like this video, and comment down below the next ticker you want me to do. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.